I need news. a moment. <laughs> the big news this week, like the <sighs> biggest news of all time this week is J-Hope's album was released. Oh, oh my god. My god. <laughs> no skips. Absolutely not. Okay, so here's the problem I'm having is I can't choose a favorite song. Like, yeah, I, I see your I see your your song of the week, Jess. I see it here. Yeah, it's J Hope. I don't know how to like <laughs> express myself. Okay, so let's go through this track list together. Let's talk about our thoughts. Um, <laughs> Let me pull it up. Because I have very I, have I have very uh, I have a lot. I have very many. Is what like, I was gonna say. My song of the week is just J Hope. J Hope. Yeah, uh, that that is correct. That that definitely is correct. So, All right. Let's talk about Jack in the Box. So to start off, this with an intro of um, Pandora's oh God, Box something. and explaining the myth story behind Pandora's Box. So if you don't know about um, the myth behind Pandora's Box, basically the gist of it is Zeus gives Pandora a box that should never be opened. Her curiosity as a human being gets the best of her and she opens the box. The, basically the tragedy and devastation is released from the box. So like things like pain and fear and death and you know, the sadness of things are kept- The bad the things of the world gets released basically. Gets released out of the box. <laughs> and she starts to feel very um, horrible about the choice that she made to open this box and released all of this on humanity. But at the bottom of the box, there is a slight glimmer of something. Hope. Um, so to start this freaking album off with this explanation of hope just really sets the tone for this whole thing. And it's also like, like really amazing because in the album interview which also was released this week yes uh hobie explained that at the beginning of like bts and everything that's basically how him rm and uh was it p dog or was it bang it was, it was bang pd bang pd yeah. uh came up with his stage name basically yeah so and that's i think that's that kind of like full circle when it you really think about is it. and i think you know Hope is something that we tend to forget about um, when we're in such a despair. Um, we always forget that there's light at the end of the tunnel. There's always going to be hope where there is sadness, where there's devastation, where there's tragedy. Um, there's always hope at the end. And we sometimes forget that that's a part of like those, those really terrible things is there's always going to be that light at the end. And I think, you know, Hobie in that group is like our hope. It's our light, the, the thing that we cling to, mm -hmm. um, to like carry us through the terrible times. So the intro is, you know, super cool to have that lead into the next song, Pandora's Box, um, which is honestly a really hard song to listen to just because of the lyrical content of that song is just so like heavy um especially because as as i just explained like pandora's box had all of these like awful things that was released onto humanity yeah. and him talking about you know the struggles of being j-hope yeah you know it's not easy it's not easy to he be, makes it look easy he but makes it's it not. he makes it look very easy but it's absolutely <laughs> not um so I think that that's so interesting to have those two sort of start us off in this album. And then moving into more, which we already did a reaction um, to to more. Um, and like in ret retrospect with like the album review, the way he explained it, he's just like, like I've done so many years over the last like nine to 10 years, but at the end of the day, like there's so much more that I just more, want to yeah. we, we talk about it, but like so much more that I want to showcase it and I want to show everyone that I can do. Yeah. Which is interesting like, that it's the third one on this list. So there's obviously like we talked about last week, the 10 tracks. It's interesting that he puts, you know, Pandora's box second there, um, really first comparatively to the intro. Yeah. So like having our start off with Pandora's box of like releasing all of this stuff 
that I don't know how to deal with, but there is still hope and I want more is a really interesting combination between those two. And then next on it's that a list- lot of it's a, it's a lot of like complicated feelings. It's just as like the first three tracks when you think about it. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's it's interesting because stop is such an interesting track in my mind. Like stop is rough. It's a like, rough song. Really rough. Yeah, like the lyrical content in there is just so interesting. Um, there was like, hold on, there was like one line. <laughs> um, Sorry, I take one sip of water and I choke on it. I have talent. <laughs> yeah, stop is like extremely um, interesting to me. Um, Wasn't that the one that Hobie said that like Namjoon was like that title itself is like really like aggressive. Yeah, yeah, uh, yeah. Like, please stop, 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 stop. Don't fight, 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 fight. Is is super interesting. It's hateful and bitter, but I think about it again. How can anyone think the same? So interesting it kind of feels like he's um, fighting against himself and against like everything yeah. around him in some way and to me it, it really feels like you know it feels like those devastating things that were released from pandora's box like stop mm-hmm. is very much the in my mind anyway the sort of like the turmoil that the inner turmoil that we feel about um so many like emotions that we sort of feel on an everyday basis and how do we quantify and how do we um explain that um and the lyrical genius here is just so interesting um to me like, so we've known also that like kobe was like really good with his lyrics yeah. but like he's really surpassed himself it's true and like this this line right here is like some of my favorite stuff um sacrifice is only a matter of time insecure area so too many environment too many viruses unconscious contamination like yeah we all fucking christ i know (laughs) like we all sort of have these like feelings right of like these things that we can't really control entering our our mind and sort of tainting the way that we look at things um and sometimes we just want it to stop honestly i feel that on a very deep level with like my anxiety and stuff so i'm just like yeah yeah boy (laughs) yeah and then moving on from stop uh we go into equal sign which is very interesting that these two are right beside each other because because they're completely different (laughs) they're completely different but also they're kind of um they're different but they're also equal at the same time um because you know they come to like two like very like deep and meaningful like subjects yeah yeah yeah. but in like a completely like twist of everything like works together but also Mm. i'm gonna i'm gonna make that reference kind of like the yin and yang to one another yes yeah yeah yeah. like it's similar it meshed well together but it's completely different yeah yeah um and i really just equal sign is is just ooh, it hits hard it hits hard um especially like with love with trust with respect step by step like that yeah he, he said it himself it's like he was still like very hesitant about putting that one in because like producing and making a song about like equality like no matter what it is because he said it in the interview because it could be like equality about literally anything yeah uh which we know the world has a very hard like problem with that but um moving on uh it's like pretty like a pretty big risk but also like really freaking smart yeah oh yeah um because this needs to be heard yeah and he does it in such a like smart way it's true it's true and it's and even, hard to put into words really yeah because like this lyrical content is so interesting to me um 
just like hate will paralyze your mind gotta see the other side it costs nothing to be kind like it's just it's such a beautiful also yes this is my favorite song sentiment. on the album yeah i i love equal sign a lot it it fills me with a lot of um this is gonna say it fills me oh. with a lot of hope yeah <laughs> yeah yeah it does i mean um, it is it is like a big part of this album even though it is a darker album than like uh whole quarrel yeah because he did like went out of his way for him to explain the origin of his name yeah and so it's like the big theme in this album like at least one of them in my opinion and mm -hmm. i mean it just works it just it's so well yeah 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 I have it just, feelings. It just fits all together, man. I like, have I, feelings and he's forcing me to deal with them. I don't like it. Um, <laughs> yeah. Uh, so next one on the docket is uh, Music Box. Yeah, Music Box Reflection. Which is kind of interesting because I feel like this one, even though there's 10 album or 10 tracks. 10, 10 albums. albums? Yes, please. Yes, please. Uh, ten <laughs> tracks on this album. I feel like Music Box Reflection is the sort of reset button for the yeah. next after this. Like, you know what I mean? Like, it's kind of like, okay. It separates the album really, really well. Really well. Because the next couple of, you know, songs on this docket um, are sort of this, like, I'm ready to step out and move forward. Yeah, step out, move on, move forward. Yeah. Yeah, that's that's kind of how I feel. I also realized how like album. most of these songs on the albums are fairly short. Yeah, I need more Luke. That would be my only complaint about this album is like Hobie, they're too short, man. Like <laughs> I need more. Because like when you look at it, like there's only three that are like normal length. Yeah. So like Pandora's Box, More, and Orson. Um, well, I guess Safety Zone as well is like more normal length. Yeah. But like the other one are like or like either less than a minute or like two minutes. Yeah, yeah. And I'm just like cloak. I mean I'm not complaining, but no. it's, it's surprising. It is surprising. And I you know reflection kind of it honestly does like make me pause a little bit. And I'm so glad that he kind of put this like pause in the album to like just sit with feelings and emotions before we like move on to the rest of yeah, the album. Yeah, it kind of feels like he's telling us to take a breather. Yeah. It's just like, you just felt a lot, take a moment. Yeah. And then continue. Yeah. And this this particular song is my mom's favorite song on the album. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. It is a good one. It's a good one. I mean, it's all good, but you know what I mean. <laughs> I do know what you mean. Uh, next is What If. So I really, really enjoy What If. Um, the dot 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 is ominous to me and I don't like it. I also think it's very like millennial feeling of like this like I, like as a millennial myself I've always felt this like burden of the future because you know you have the the past sort of being like well you should do this you should do this you need to do this you have to do this and it's like what if man like my mind just like travels in these directions of like what if i'm making the wrong choice what if i'm not good enough to do this what if i'm not ready what if like all these questions and he really captured that essence like so well yeah <laughs> um, i mean like i also feel that way in just kind of the sense where we grow up and then suddenly like the training wheels are just kind of ripped out from your bike yeah. and you just like can go by yourself you're like Wah. yeah like that's, I, that's what this song feels like it really and... does <laughs> like uh i question myself countless times am i really like that hope positivity the state of my smiling face i thought these were things i could do so my music my speech my feel i made it myself but i have questions I also have questions. It really just like makes. Oh, sorry, you... I had to make that joke. <laughs> <laughs> it makes you like really, like pause a minute 
to be like, yeah, like, what if, what if, what if, like, just what like I'm doing portray is, portraying is, and bringing to life what most of us, yeah, are actually like, and also like this, this like this a, idea did of, I fuck up yeah. or like, <laughs> like did I just ruin my life like, and also this this idea like this really reminds me of um the lyrics of Paradise as well of like it's okay to not have a dream but also he's like questioning it like what if I have no hope what if i don't have any dreams what if i don't have any passion what if i have no vid vision like what if these things are the things that are you know stopping me like it's it's super it's it's interesting how he puts that into perspective of you know like it's okay to hit rock bottom as long as you climb back on top like yeah. you're gonna hit bottom so many times it's gonna be like you're gonna spin out every once in a while <laughs> yeah it's not gonna be funny but at the end of the day just like just come back <laughs> yeah but it makes you feel like you know it makes you grow and change and be stronger and be better and be the best <clears throat> person that you can be um yeah, and it's just... okay to like question yourself and question the things that honestly you're if you wouldn't if you weren't questioning yourself i would question you for not questioning yourself yeah kind of thing. you're you're allowed to like doubt yourself you and, are a human yeah like you're allowed to do those things like it's okay <laughs> right like you're not a machine yeah like you're not it is normal no no and i love that he he put that in this album because it's it's kind of like you know like he's questioning whether this this is the right decision um but at the end of the day i think that it, it is it is what's best for for him and like what's best for like bts in general um but yeah i love i love what if it's it's really it's really good and then uh next after what if is safety zone which again, I feel like "What If" and "Safety Zone" go so well together. It's a it's a nice transition from one to the other. Yeah, because it's like you know, like "What If," "What If," "What If," but also like I found my safety. Like I found the people who. Yeah, you in. found your yeah your the spot where you're like you can yeah. put those, uh, like fears and like all the questioning at rest. Yeah, and you're just like okay. Yeah. Yeah, cool. like, uh, like the 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 chorus to this song of uh, where is the ray of light of security in the darkness, a quiet home, or is it a blue in the distance? Where is my safety zone? Left, right, go straight. What's my safety zone? A place, a place, or X? I just think that that's such an interesting uh way to put it of like where can I find that safety zone and where can I put myself where I'm not in this you know where I'm in a safe space to I don't know to just be to just exist yeah and like really people like people's safety zones will also like be different some people it's a place some people it's yeah. just like a feeling some people it can even be like a person kind yeah. of thing and so like it just puts it out there where you just like just find your own just so you can be you yeah and be comfortable being you yeah at least in that space yeah and i love this the exploration of that you know like we're questioning who we are but also we need to find a safe space in order to do that yeah. um and hopefully he finds it <laughs> or he's already found it i don't know Oi, sorry. <laughs> um, and then future uh, is the next one after safety zone. And I feel like this one, um, to me, really feels like we're setting it up for the next steps, um, whatever mm -hmm. that's going to be. Um, you know, a re he even says, like, always I need to, when I said I do, courage and faith, a rhythm of positivity. I mean, you really feel like, especially through the lyrics, you really 
like I'm gonna yeah. say it again you really feel that hope coming through yeah through all the pain that like from this like the flow and the story you felt through the album and the set list you really feel it come through and you're just like well maybe it's not so bad at the end of the day yeah well and I think that's so true because even even in the darkest moments even when Pandora opened that box and released all of that devastation on the world there was still hope there's always hope hope for the future hope for yourself hope for the people around you there's always going to be that light and to have that be the anchor of this like thread through the album is really like beautiful I just, I, I love that, and... Um, he did say he was going to concentrate and focus on the flow of this album, and honestly, he, he did it. Boy, did he do it. Boy, did he ever. Um, and I think when he was talking about, um, in his, like, album review of, you know, this, like, idea of previous albums that they've done, you know, like, loving yourself and, like, finding yourself and being yourself, and how do I do that? I think he really like explored it within this album so so well and it all of these tracks are j-hope like that's why i have such oh, a hard yeah. time <laughs> um picking my favorite song because they just go together so well there's such a beautiful story that he's telling through every single one of these songs that it becomes in my mind like just one but, whole song yeah it's, it's like a beautiful culmination of j-hope yeah yeah and I I do like I love listening to them like out of order but I think there's something really beautiful about just like listening to the whole album together as a 10 piece um because you can just really feel the the sort of message and story he's trying to convey through all of this and it just it feels like like I said it feels like one whole song but yeah. like split between 10 you know what I mean it's just like it is when you look at like look at it, it's like a 21 minute long song yeah <laughs> yeah that's how it feels to me yeah um and then the last song on uh on here is uh arson which I which will which will be watching right now <laughs> yes um I honestly ending oh. the album on this song like this is my this is his mic drop moment is what this feels like oh, of, of like 100%. I don't care burn it to the ground you know what I mean like we're gonna burn yeah. this um, just like you know all that doubt and pain and devastation no more don't care burn don't it care. burn it uh and I love that for him uh I love arson so much I think like when I reacted to more, I was like so hyped. But I think Arson <laughs> might take the cake for that. And it's like a very bold move, like you said, even in the interview, to put the title track as the last track oh, is yeah. like a very bold move. Well, and to also have two title tracks, um, especially where they're located within the album, having three and then ten is so interesting to me. And to have two of them be title tracks of this album, because that doesn't usually, like, you're, obviously, like, a title track is, like, a singular track that you're, yeah, an album, <laughs> um, but Hobie was like, we're breaking all the rules, there's two of them. Like, it's my album, Don't And care. it's the last song, so, get ready? over it. I'm so ready. Okay, let's this. go. I've watched this so many times, but I love it so Same. much every single time I see it. <laughs> is the sound okay? I think I put the non-Korean lyrics. <laughs> oh, his deep voice on this, like, boy, if you don't. This video is so epic. Because this was done in one take, like yeah. this scene. Yeah. Well, with fire, you really you don't, don't have a choice, sense. yeah. <laughs> as a whole because we have future which is like you know like i'm i'm ready to move 
forward with like whatever future comes I'm ready for it Mm -hmm. um and to say like I am my passion is burning my like my songs are burning I'm burning I'm ready let's burn it let's run it let's go just like let's go (laughs) yeah 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 motivation beyond come on That designer wonders. Immaculate. Yeah. You know the part where it says like fireman? Yeah. For the longest time, I was saying Spider Man. <laughs> I was like, kind of works still, you know? Kind of works. Kind of works. Kind of works. I love it. Oh, man. I love that. The urge for a fertile ahead. It's so good. But nothing is better than actually listening to J Hope. Yeah, experiencing through. yourself and yeah. ex- like listening to what uh Hobie has to say about so, his songs. Yeah, so yeah. watching the album interview is like a must, really. And I'm glad that you know we got that. It kind of felt like a, like an old school like Nam June sit down album <laughs> going over, which I absolutely love. I hope that like all of them when they release their albums are able to do that where we get this like inside look oh yes please what their thoughts are <laughs> and like how they put the album together and because like tay kind of said like in his vlog of like i don't i want every song to be different and then you like go to hobie mm. who's talking about this album as like a full story from like start to finish yeah it, it's inter- it's fascinating to me how they put this stuff together and you know him talking about he wanted to be a part of everything every single aspect of this album like from cover art to writing all the songs to producing the songs to you know coming up with the concept of the music videos and directing and you know doing all these things it's just it's it feels so much like he put like himself into this album um it really feels like like the the b album was like such a an important album for BTS because all of them took part in like creating it and this kind of feels like that where it's like every single song has its own purpose within this like giant story of things Mm. and the cover art and the music videos like just like so coherent yeah like from start to finish he definitely had like a a full thought in his mind of the things that he wanted to say um about his current like life and position um and i love that i i literally cannot wait to hear these songs live and in person <laughs> um it's gonna be an hour of craziness so let me don't remind me jess <laughs> let me tell you that for free uh um, so listening party yeah there was like a whole listening party for the album mm-hmm. it was amazing i think 
yeah, a lot of like different artists and celebrities attended. The members were there, except for you, because he was he, sick. He, he was sick. For yep. baby. We did get um the W Korea like behind the scenes of mm-hmm. all the photos, and of course they look immaculate, um as per usual. And I'm just like, like, Jesse was there too. And it was like, Jesse. Yeah, like Sorry. everybody was there. Like, yeah, everybody. Was I think a high like, party. Yeah, um, I believe that if KFC wasn't in the US, he would have been there as well. Because like some members of Enhypen were there too. Yeah, I saw And that like well. so many people were there. And I'm just like, yes, celebrate <laughs> our main character, J Hope. Did, did you see the video of like the top floor of Hype being? colored because of the I party did, yeah like damn get you a company like, like the party whole art. top floor yo yeah 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 and there was like like there was like fire going on and there was like members dancing and there was like it was just fun it was so gin in the corner playing in the song basically um it was so good to see them like just living their best life like being yeah, out and about just and... celebrating their boy yeah and just, just celebrating having J-Hope. fun um, it looked like a blast it looked like i was such a good time i'm like jealous i'm like where was my invite um <laughs> i wanted to be invited <laughs> let me go <laughs> let me go um but yeah I, I you know i nothing less for our main character j-hope nothing yeah nothing we'll less. be center Obi is the man, and uh, mm-hmm. that's it. That's all I have to say about that. You're like, my hope. Uh, I'm your hope. I'm J Hope. You know. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And we'll be getting oh. a W Korea um, magazine like feature. Rolling Stone, you mean? Or is no, it W well, Korea? Both. Both. So both. Rolling We're getting Stone, both. Rolling Stone did the interview portion of it, but W Korea is doing an interview and a whole magazine oh, okay, launch. Okay, sure. Because um, I was just like, boy, yeah. my guy, my Kobe, guy, Kobe. hello. Um, I would definitely go and read the Rolling Stone. It's a good interview. Um, I think Rolling Stone like is a really good magazine that does interviews. Um, so it's approved by like Army. <laughs> yes. <laughs> to go and like they usually it. do some good things. Yes. So we appreciate Rolling Stone, and I again like. You know, there's nothing better than listening to J-Hope talk about the things that sort of led up to this album and how he feels about it. Like, I know he's very nervous about Lollapalooza and, like, release yeah. being the first member I mean, it, to yeah, be and Yeah, I mean, it's also, like, the first time he's technically, like, doing, like, a concert by himself. Yeah. So... It's gonna go well. It's gonna go. It's gonna, it's go, gonna go well. It's gonna yeah. go amazingly. I'm like stoked. I'm so excited. <laughs> I'm so extremely proud of him and so happy. And you know the fact that like he was so vulnerable and willing to share this beautiful story with us. I I can't wait to see like how much this grows. And he was talking like in the interview, the interview asked like, what do you think you're going to learn from this album? And he's like, I don't know yet. Uh, I don't know. No. I mean, only time will tell, only right? Time will tell. But just know that ARMY loves this album yeah. very much. Yes. <laughs> like, Absolutely. This is on repeat. Like I can't even stress that enough. Yeah. Um, I've made some like playlists, obviously for um. Yeah, this boy. Album. <laughs> I got you. Um, there's about five of them, five or six of them, uh, and I did update a lot of my other playlists, but I made like a new thread because my other ones were just getting very long. <laughs> I needed like a chapter two thread to sort of like, <laughs> pull it all together. You know what I mean? Yeah. Um. But definitely go give it a listen. I share your thoughts like down below of like what your favorite so- what your favorite track was. What are we thinking about the album? How excited are you if you're going to Lollapalooza? Let us know. We want to know. Down below, we want to know all the things.